Uh, is, is this recording already or? It was crunch time chat, I don't wanna mess this up 100%. <laughs> hey guys, this is Nico and I'm here with Mixel and this is Pringles crunch chat time. Okay, okay. Pringles crunch time chat. Hey guys, this is Nico and I'm here with Mixel and this is Pringles crunch time chat. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Could I just get a glass of water? Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. I'm gonna eat some Pringles. It's good, man. I like the original. What's your favorite flavor? I prefer the most like sour cream and onions, or the one with the paprika if I wanna have it a bit more spicy. I'm gonna choose my favorite flavor, obviously. I think, I mean, we met each other at the events, but I don't think we ever really talked too much. We didn't meet each other, I feel. Uh, we never talked to each other. I think one of the one match that I remember is probably the one from the E-League. I think when you guys knocked us out. So you, you won that event, right? Yeah. So I think that's the only match I can remember. We were really pumped that we got Optic <laughs> and we just got wrecked. Optic Gaming moved past Mousesports. That was when we were peaking. I'm not sure if you played with the same players, Mixwell. I played with play Kenny. Kenny, right? Are you did play? I played with Kenny, oh. but I didn't play with Jax. But it wasn't the same because I was talking in French. Are you talking French again? I was talking 50-50 French and English. Imagine me translating in my head everything that what they are saying while I'm playing. It was really hard. I was playing in French, which is like my fourth language. I did everything I, I could to stay in Europe. So I went to French classes to join G2 and everything, but it's too much, too much to handle at the same time. Hey, you came back to G2 at least, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> How is it to play with your cousin, like with Hunter? Is it something you always wanted to do or? Yeah, definitely. I think I think that's like the dream for every player. If he has any siblings or brothers or whatever, like you definitely want to play with them. Actually, I, I could never expect that I was going to join his team. I always wanted him to come to my team. We always talked about him bringing to my team and then like all of a sudden, you know, I joined his team. <laughs> you know, this is a jungle and sometimes when things get tough, uh, weird things happen. So <laughs> it's nice to have someone that will always have your back. Yeah. Especially if you're like very close with, with someone, you know, like he's my cousin, but he's like my brother, basically. Like we, we grew up almost together. So it's, it's way closer for the people than they think. Uh, did you play Valorant and would you ever switch to another game? Uh, actually, I've never played Valorant. I haven't even like tried. I didn't even install it on my PC, to be honest. And I'm just not interested in, into that game at all. I've been like kind of at the top for three years now, and there is no reason for me to think uh, of switching to any other game, right? So, I mean, yeah, for you, it doesn't make sense. I switched to Valorant because when I was playing CS at the end, uh, I went through a really rough time. I went through uh, the Spanish project, it didn't work well, and then I left to Cloud9 because they bought me out. Funnily enough, all five are in Valorant, <laughs> including me now. <laughs> so imagine how well it went, uh, it didn't go well at all. <laughs> Valorant just came at the perfect time, I started playing it in the beta and I, and I liked it a lot, it was really fun to play. And I thought this could be um, starting all over again and doing all the things that I've never done before that I should have done from the start and trying to do a much cleaner career. So what are your goals for 2021? How do you feel like moving forward? Our main focus for 2021 is win worlds, I think. See how we do it against other regions. You guys are kind of like clear favorites, right? Like you, like I don't know worlds? how- In worlds? Yeah, like what's the difference between you and NA? Like, are is, are they better or you guys are better? I really don't follow. It's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Did you play against each other? No, no, so no. So far, no. no, right? Not yet, not yet. What I would say is that NA has uh, more known talent. Europe has teams at an like, insane level, but not as many. There's three or four teams in Europe that could win worlds, and in NA, there's 10. And then in Korea, there's one. In Japan, there's one. In Brazil, there's one. NA, I feel like it, they are the strongest by numbers, not by level, but by numbers. 
We've never spoke to each other. I followed your career for a long time. You're one of the best players ever. So, so it was a, a nice experience for me uh, to talk about everything. And uh, if we put camp in Berlin or whatever, and I see you, then we can talk. And I wish you the sure. best. I'm glad that I could have a chance to hear from the best uh, in Valorant as well to see how the things are there. Because as I said, I never really looked into it. So you gave me great insights as well. And uh, yeah, it was just great talking to you. And if we are close to each other anytime, we should definitely hang out and talk more. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, let us know who you want to see next on uh, Pringles Crunch Time chat.